number nine masquerade who thought who would have thought it would have gone on this long it's your fault guys i did three episodes you wanted more we still have the roosters today i'm not going to recap i think you ought to watch the last video if you can't remember it or watch the last five minutes but here we have maddie who used to be martin maddie 25 years old thereabouts sat having breakfast with Craig it's Craig's last day in Thailand and they've just bumped back into each other Craig is on cloud nine he's fantasizing about this woman lady boy in front of him even while he's talking to her he is in some sort of dream world his life has changed on this two week holiday he's been well, now with two lady boys um, hmm, there we go they yeah, had breakfast together he, kept, he went back and had some more food they had breakfast chatted Maddie actually introduced herself now gave him her name <laughs> instead of just a room number and explained that she just had an operation and now got to relax for a week um, and go back to hospital checkups now and told him the operation and then she said I want to lie by the pool in the shade and just relax but I'm happy if you want to join me and we'll chat her English was really good while she was hairdressing and at college she knew that if she was gonna get into dancing jobs she would have to improve her English she'd have to learn there would be interaction with foreigners and she'd had this interaction with Craig and through her time at college and the job she had been studying English teaching herself from books from CDs from watching films TV and she he as Martin before excelled at schoolwork Maddie excelled and her English was better than normal because the way she'd learned listening to foreigners speak on TV and movies and things and she copied it so it was really good English easy for Craig to understand anyway he said yeah off they went he went off to his room she went to hers changed same pool the upstairs pool and uh, again Craig was in the older part of this hotel and she was in the newer part went to the pool he was there before her but she appeared got two sun lounges opened up a parasol parasol um, umbrella and uh, ordered some drinks she was on soft drinks at this moment in time she was on a lot of antibiotics she couldn't drink he had a beer got his swimming trunks on she was in loose clothing not in a swimsuit and they spent it's about 9.30 in the morning 10 o'clock nearly all day there um, lunch time they ordered some food and had it by the pool and Craig paid and they chatted Craig told Maddie his life story and Maddie told Craig her life story they were getting on so well relaxed with each other it's just fantastic Craig had to go home he was needed some food he needed to head to the airport at about seven o'clock <coughs> so five o'clock ish he said I've got to go to the airport she told him about her plans after another week of recouping if everything's fine that she'd left her job and everything that she was heading to Phuket 
she was going to fly down, find a cheap room and apply it. I think there's two or three ladyboy shows there, cabaret shows, a couple of big ones and some smaller ones. Um, and she was going to, she was going to get a job. Whatever the job was in those ladyboy shows, she was going to get it, even if she had to work her way through to become a dancer. That was her plans through the afternoon. Craig had got her email address and swapped email addresses and phone numbers and got as much information on each other as they could. Craig said that you know he's got to go home but he's broken hearted that he's got to go home. He doesn't want to go home now he's found Maddie again and he started telling her his feelings towards her that she changed his life and he was very grateful for that um, but he wanted to see her again he'd been the first foreign guy she'd been with maybe only th a third only encounter with a guy and she felt relaxed in his company even though they hadn't spent that much time together and she sensibly uh, we can explore this well, I'm going to Phuket, you're going home. Craig said that he had to go back and work at least eight weeks because of his job and commitments and finances and things. But he would try his best to get back as soon as possible. And he would come to Phuket and meet her and that they could talk by email. It was going on in the afternoon, it's about five-ish. He said, I need to get some food. Do you fancy going out for a, a meal? Like, you know, we haven't got much time, but... Um, she's like, yeah, okay. So they went back to the rooms, got changed, met in reception, and uh, from where that hotel was, just around the corner, there was lots of street vendors, food, restaurants. There was a couple of shopping centres, I think the Satan shopping centre is now, it used to be the World, whatever shopping centre it was called, opposite Big C. They went in that shopping centre, found a restaurant, had food. And then, back to the hotel, inevitable. Inevitable that, uh, thank you, Ma's wife, bird scaring bangers. It was inevitable, he's going to have to go. So he went back to the hotel. Um, and he had to say goodbye there because he literally had to go to his room, pack his stuff, check out, get in a taxi and go. He gave Maddie a kiss on the cheek. She gave him a kiss on the cheek. He gave you sort of a big cuddle. He wished her luck with the following weeks coming ahead and said that uh, in a day or so when he gets back he'll email her and she was happy with that and he was really sad to be going more so than her um, do, I pref do you prefer the airport in the UK with the planes flying over? or the bangers going off to scare the birds, the KFC chickens, <laughs> the cats playing with the tripod and Tigger's down there. Oh dear, I can't win making in Thailand. <laughs> I need a quiet room. <laughs> I need to get the green screen back out. They said goodbye and Craig went off, packed his stuff, checked out um, got in a taxi off to the airport and away home he went back to Ireland driving his lorry he must have been so confused back in Ireland he'd gone from a normal heterosexual relationships Thai girl who cheated on him 
what an up, up and down time he had and now he was can we say dating a lady boy he wasn't gay he's straight he loved looking at women um, loved the female body but the relationship he had with Maddie and that other lady boy A I remember him telling me it felt better than any relationship he'd had before um, in every way he seemed happier than he'd ever been in his life and he he was excited to the thoughts of coming back to see Maddie and he worked hard worked very hard eight weeks passed and with a lot of wrangling and with his boss and he managed to get a four week holiday lined up Maddie in the meantime had been at the hotel for a good week everything was good all the operation and the aftercare and everything was fine all healed up well I have no idea, idea of the details or how it's done or anything but all sorted she was now a complete woman um, Adam's apple nose male organ gone breast implants super attractive woman super attractive long hair she'd finished her week and she'd gone to Phuket and rather than rushing straight to the lady boy shows I wonder if I put those chickens near that banger instant KFC rather than rushing to the shows she attended the shows as a customer to see what it was all about to actually get the feel of it and the girls in the show come out afterwards chat so she was out chatting to the girls trying to get to know them she'd found a room in Phuket City quite cheap well it's about three four thousand baht so it was not that cheap but cheap enough she'd saved enough money and she got to know a couple of the girls she'd go there every day for two or three days show afterwards chatting to the lady boys enough to find out the information she needed she wasn't going to be able to land a dancing job straight away because they even though they were dancers they had to learn all the learn all the routines and everything but she could get in working in the wardrobe hairdressing when she told the one girl that she was a hairdresser she had no problem getting a job and that's how she got a job at the main cabaret was it the Simon cabaret <laughs> that's spooky anyway whatever it was called she landed a job straight away as hairdresser not even the makeup just hair and she was good and that was her first step Craig's in Ireland ready to come back she's got the job in a ladyboy show that's a, a happy place to leave this video any twists no we'll have one with no twists <laughs> we'll have a bit of a sort of happy ending of this bit should we have another episode after this should we leave it there hmm maybe let me know comments below should we do one more episode or leave them in a happy thoughts happy place i'll see you soon take care everyone have a great day bye bye <laughs>